Hey everyone, welcome back to another arm swing breakdown. I am the Volley Nerd, and in this video I will be analyzing the arm swing of Daniel Ramirez Pita. So, this guy has recently blown up all across social media, YouTube, Instagram, for just an unreasonable athletic reels that he posts. As you can see, we'll watch it all the way through one time. Look at how high he gets. But what we're going to be looking at is his phenomenal arm swing mechanics. And it's, uh, it's rare that I use a clip of somebody doing hitting warm-ups, or even if I was to use a clip of him in-game, um, it is almost identical to uh, his warm-up swings, which is rare, because usually when you get into a game, you default your arm swing will default to whatever gets the job done and there's more variables in play, there's defenders, there's blockers so it, the arm swing mechanics tend not to be as clean or as I like to say as optimal but what I've seen from this hitter, from this player his arm swing stays nearly identical every single time no matter if he's hitting line, angle, the only thing that f that is different is the amount of rotation and his follow through, which is crazy. So let's look at it frame by frame here. Uh, first and foremost, he's got his nice, whoop, nice upward swing, and then horizontal draw. Something that's uh, unique to this guy that uh, not a lot of players do is he fully extends his lead arm and keeps it pretty much fully extended all the way up until he starts a swing. Um, so right now we have a pretty horizontal draw. Arm is at parallel with his shoulders as he draws back. And then right here you can actually see there's a little bit of upward travel of the elbow. But that's not going to affect uh, the stability of his shoulders through the swing because as we go into this next phase, right here... As the shoulder moves upward, the elbow lags behind, which means now we're back to neutral. Uh, so right here, we start to see the hips rotate forward. And then once the hips have started, then there's a little bit of lag between hips and shoulders. And then the shoulders come through. Now, another unique... Uh, facet of this swing is there's a slight lead of the elbow. The elbow doesn't lag behind as far as some players do. But right here, we got the shoulders tilted upwards, slight upward tilt of the arm, and the hand is directly behind the elbow, which means maximum snap torque through to the top of the swing. And when you jump this high, you do not need perfect mechanics. But... They can only help in producing power, in adding range to your swing, and in this case, giving a huge bounce inside the 3-meter line. Let's look at it one more time. We got the lift, the draw, hips rotate forward, shoulders lag behind, and then shoulder tilts up, arm comes through, and bam. Nice follow-through. Uh, last but not least, or I guess before that, we have a little bit of a less severe uh, spinal uh, flex in this player, partially due to the fact that he's already this far above the net, so there's no need to reach higher with his shoulders to make contact with the ball, because he's always already going to make this swing happen without having to put his core in a less efficient position so this is as efficient as you can do without overdoing it and then as he lands he does land one leg first but you can see it's almost neutral hip position so once that other foot comes down it'll spread the force across both feet and there's no risk so that was the arm swing breakdown of Daniel Ramirez Pita I'll link his social media in the description. Go give him a follow on Instagram. He posts some great reels. He posts some great highlights. 
Uh, it's just fun to watch, in my opinion. Um, and I hope we get to see more of him as uh, the season goes on and in the future. And comment below if you like this video. Also, give it a like. But comment below who you'd like to see next. I'm always open to suggestions. I'd love to do more of these. Or let me know if uh, some of these breakdowns have helped you out. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.